Hey, Mark Rice here. I'm looking at life more to love than a fight, but sometimes I have that bad thoughts through my head. And I have two choices. First, I can think about it and make my life complicated. Or second, I can knock them out. So, in name of that, today I will show you how to draw a fighter. So, let's start. Okay, so here as you can see I have everything prepared. My white working area, Gigantic Master Colors version 2 and you are here. So I have everything for beautiful stuff. So first I will create the head. Or more specifically the face. Okay, so I will use skin color for it of course. And here I just created the basic shape of the face. Okay, beautiful. Now I need one more rectangle for the ear and I'll change the shape. So now it's more natural. Okay, and I have one fetish. When I create game characters, I love to use this black line instead of regular eyes. So I will use it here as well. This is my style, you don't need to use it. I want to be recognizable by this line. Okay. And for the mouth, I will use just the white semicircle. Okay. So, this fighter enjoyed the fight. And it's pure love and the right thing. And you do something, do it with love or don't do that. Okay. So, for this part, I will use red color. Mmm, I love this red color. Okay, oh, it's so delicious. I'll send to back this part. That's it. Now, here, I can add more details. Okay, something like this. And make this corner round. Okay. Good fighter for good fights. Okay, send to back, then select this shape, send to back again. And now I want to create here. So I will zoom out a bit. Here I will create one black rectangle. Okay. Okay, beautiful. It's beautiful. Do you like it? No. It can be even better if I add more details here. So check this out. First here, I'll create one rectangle. Change this angle. Okay. I can change the size or just move it down a bit. Now I will copy it. Change the size again. And do that one more time. Now it's cool. And in the process of the animation, you can animate these parts and it will be even better. Okay, that's it. Group the shapes and now the body. So first I will create the rectangle and I will use purple color for it. It will be a rounded rectangle. And here for this part of the body, I need the semicircle and I will copy this white part. I can create a new one, but I love shortcuts. Okay, move it here, align it right, beautiful. Group the shapes, and here I will create one more rectangle, purple of course, make these corners round, okay, something like this. Oh, I'm playing with the shapes. So, the beauty of the flight design is always I can back and fix it easily. Okay, and here I need one red part as well. So, I group the shades and let me check. I think that I created right. Okay. Okay, maybe I just need to change 
the position of this shape. It's much better. Beautiful. Now arm. So create the circle and the rectangle. Okay, something like this. And I will use the same rectangle for the second part of the arm. So I will copy it and move it here. And for that part I will use light skin color. Okay. Beautiful. So here I want to add more details and create a really cool arm. So first I will copy it, move it here and use white color for this part. Something like this. Okay, then I will add a few gray parts. So here I can create one gray part. I will copy it, move it here. Okay. And I will repeat the process. Okay, beautiful. Now I will change these corners here and this one. Something like this. Okay, here I can create the rectangle and it will be something like fingers. Because if I leave this shape just like this, it will be bad, believe me. And I need a thumb. Okay, rotate it, move it here and send to back. Okay group these shapes rotate it by 45 degrees and move it here now let me check okay not bad hmm i don't know maybe i can change this part here okay here i can with angle like this and here I will back this not bad and one more beautiful thing about flat design now I can copy the arm and use it for the second arm so first I will ungroup it I will change the angle like this move it here okay ungroup now I will delete this part and change the color for this part because this arm is in the background and I need to change the color and I need a thumb for different perspectives so it's easy just you need to create the circle and one more rectangle like this now change this corner and this corner and that's it Okay, you can use something like this, why not? I plan to add one more shape here, but... Okay, why not? I like it. Something like this. Change color. Okay, here and... Send to back. Hmm. Okay, that's it. Maybe I can change the size for the arms. Maybe it can be better. And maybe it will be stronger as well. Hmm? Why not? Okay. And here I can change the size for the hair as well. In that way, I'll create a beautiful balance. Okay. I like it. Now legs. And it will be very simple. So first I will create one more rectangle. It will be black. Okay, I will use it for the second part of the leg. Okay, here I will change these corners. So, basically I need rounded rectangle here. And for the lower part of, of the arm I need... Okay, one part with the skin color, something like this. And I will create here a pattern like this one. Okay. So, it will be easy, just copy the shapes, change the color to white, and here create a few gray 
objects. Okay, something like this. So here use vertical distribution center. Oh, now everything is perfect. And the up part for the lower part of the leg will be rounded. Yeah, something like this. And here I will create foot. So I need a foot just like this for now and later I will fix it and find the right position. Something like this. Okay. Boom. Send to back. Okay, so first I will copy it and start to play with the shapes. Okay. I need bigger leg for sure. So I will change the size. I will ungroup it. And now I can play with this part here. Okay, something like this. Okay. Let's check. Hmm, okay. Right here. I don't know about you, but I feel some energy here. Boom! And I will copy this leg for the second leg, of course. So look at this. Okay, I don't need it anymore. Thank you. Bye. Bam, bam, bam. Okay, so first I will rotate this shape and this shape as well. And maybe I can create a small angle here. Something like this. And that's it. But before that, I will change the angle for this part. Now I'm sure that I have right angle here. Okay. Let me check the situation here. Now it's cool. Okay. And it's just one point. Hmm. Okay. Ah, it's like a frog. So I want to change the size. Okay, cool. It's keep it the leg day, but <laughs> I will fix it in one of the future tutorials. Okay. Not bad. In my opinion, the head needs to be smaller because in that way arms will be bigger and the body as well okay something like this now it's powerful so i'll group these shapes and for the background i will use the yellow color now with this version of the gigantic colors i have new yellow colors and i like it very much look at this okay so i'll use this light yellow color change the size for the background okay and I need a shadow and basically that's it okay so first before I finish this tutorial I will create the shadow and move the character to the front look at this it's strong it's powerful and it's very cool okay and if you want to go a few steps further and learn even more or just hang out with me on a daily basis become part of this incredible list here you will be able to watch my exclusive video tutorials and become part of the private community this will be game changer for you if you are serious about your creative future so take action right now and do something good for you and your family and remember stay tuned because the best is yet to come peace